anything that's made by somebody else it can be broken down into small pieces. Like a guitar, for example. You, know, you look at it and you think, like, oh, it's an instrument, but really it's just a, a bit of wood with some strings on it and a few electronics. I'm Ben, I'm 21, I'm from York and I play in a band called the Blue Dawns. We practice up here in this warehouse unit. We actually worked with somebody who lives up here. We had a chat to them and said, oh, you know, are there any noise restrictions? They said, oh no, it's loud all the time because of the nature of the people that use the units. People often think it's weird having a band up here. You look around and everybody else around here is a mechanic or a welder or a builder or they're using for storage. The other two guys are Ross and Jordan. Ross is the bassist, uh, Jordan's the drummer. It's, it's just it's a garage basically, but we've done it all out inside to how, to how we want to basically. It's an empty shell that you get to customise and create your own little room in. So I think that's, that's kind of why we chose here rather than paying a lot more money to like a proper commercial studio. A couple of months ago, I was um, going through a bag of stuff that was about to be thrown out. My dad had got this bag just full of things that was his dad's, my grandpa's, and um, in there was lots of old photos and things like that, so I found it quite interesting just to flick through and find out a bit more about him. In this bag, um, there was his old wooden box. It's not a very special box. I'm not even sure what it was used for, but I think the, the idea that it was his is what interests me the most about it. Um, I don't own many things that were his. I'd say I had quite a good relationship with my grandfather when he was alive. He died in 2006 when I was 12. So I do have lots of fond memories of him, but they're all from when I was quite young. About a couple of weeks ago, I, I discovered a thing called a cigar box guitar, which was basically you build your own guitar out of just anything you can find. I thought the idea of having a guitar that you could like open up and get inside really easily would be cool. I like to take things apart and kind of make modifications to them. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think that's the best way to learn, just to kind of dive in and open things up. Building your own guitar or something you already have appeals to me quite a lot um, compared to going and buying a guitar off the shelf that somebody else might already have. You always kind of have that sense that it's it's just made to be played by anyone. It's not You've not crafted it yourself, there's not that personal connection with it. I'm making it out of um, its neck off one of the first guitars I owned. Very cheap guitar, it cost £16 for the whole guitar, second hand. Um, so I've taken the neck off that, because even though it's really old and cheap, it plays really nicely. I've gone out and bought parts, mainly Fender parts, I'm, I'm a Fender player mainly. Um, so I bought the bridge and I bought a very cheap pickup. Um, I don't think you have to put the most expensive pickup in a project guitar. If it makes a sound, then I'll be happy. Music's always been something that's interested me. I think. I think the fact that I, I found it myself was something that, that drew me to it rather than it was something that I was told to do. Um, so it always, it always kind of amazes me when I find people I know who are very musical but they never do it. I, you know, I ask them, I'll say, oh, why, you know, you're a brilliant singer, why do you never sing? And they're like, oh, I was pushed into it at a young age and I never really enjoyed it. Um, so for me, I think the discovery was a big part of it. Um, finding that this is an instrument and if I do this, I can make a sound and I can create something. I think it takes just as much hard work, if not more, um, to create something yourself and to to take on a project that you, you're not sure whether it will succeed or whether it will fail. If you're working for somebody else and you're employed, then you can take on these projects. But at the end of the day, you're still going to get paid. You're still, you know, you're still going to have enough money to put food on the table um, because somebody else has given you that safety net. Whereas when you take on your own projects and you have no idea that when you get to the end of it if it's going to work or if you're going to have any money left whatsoever, then I think that that risk is kind of it is what makes it a lot more special and it's what 
it's what it takes often to do something new. In the end of the day, we're all just making things. Um, that's kind of why we're up here, whether it's making something with your hands um, or you know, making something physical that you can hold or making something that you can hear or you can see. I think it all comes from the same place. Um, it's all about you know, creativity and having a job to do, whether that job is fixing a car or a piece of metal or whether it's I need to create a song that says this. Um, the process may be different, but the idea behind it is still the same.